Hi, this is Mr. Tipton, and today we are estimating percents using 10%. Uh, we've done this using fractions, and now we are just exploring a different way to estimate percents. Um, using 10%, 10 per, finding 10% of a number is really pretty simple. You're basically just, you're, you're knocking off the last digit of a number. Really, you're moving the decimal po point. Uh, one place to the left because 10% is the same thing as dividing by 10. Um, for example, 10% of 50, we're just moving the decimal point over one. 10% of 50 is 5. It's one tenth of 50, which is 5. Okay, 10% of 130, move the decimal point in once, and we get 13. 10% of 2.17, again, if we want 10% of it, we just move the decimal left once, and that's kind of an ugly number there, 0 0.217, but it is 10% of 2.17, and 10% of 0 0.4, 0 0.04, okay? So, we're going to take our knowledge of 10% of a number, and we're going to use it to estimate percents. 52% of 11. All right. We need multiples of 10 for our percents because we're using 10%. Okay. The closest multiple to 52 is 50%. And just like before, um, we want to use pretty numbers. There's nothing wrong with changing 11 to 10. All right? But this time, instead of using the fraction 1 half of 10, we're going to say what 10% of 10 is. All right? We know that 10% of 10, we just move the decimal in once, or one place to the left, 10% of 10 is 1, but we don't want 10%. We're looking for 50%. So what do you do to 10 to get 50? Multiply by 5. So 10% multiplied by 5 gives us 5. 52% of 11 is approximately 5. Let's do another. 35% of 62. 35% is actually right in the middle of 30 and 40. We're going to go ahead and round up to 40 because 5 to 9, we climb the vine. 0 to 4, we stay on the floor. So we're going up to 40. And 40% of 60. When we use 10%, of 60, we need to find the 10%. So we move the decimal in once. 10% of 60 is 6, but we don't want 10%, we want 40%. So we multiply by 4 to get 24. 35% of 62 is approximately 24. Pause any time and try them on your own. Here, 24%, we're going to make 20%, because that's the nearest multiple of 10. And going to make that a nice and pretty 200. 10% of 200 is 20. And we, but, but we don't want 10%, we want 20%, so we're going to multiply by 2 and get 40. 24% of 200 is approximately 40. All right. Um, here we go. 19%. We're going to round to 20%. And why does that say 58%? It's just supposed to be 58. All right. There we go. 20% um, of 60. Okay. 10% of 60 is 
6. But we want 20%, so times 2 gives us 12. Remember, all this is to be done without a calculator. We're estimating, we are rounding to pretty numbers that we don't need to use a calculator for. All right, 40% of 20. First, we're going to find 10% of 20, which is, move the decimal, 2. And to go from 10 to 40, we multiply by 4. 41% of 20 is approximately 8. A couple more together. 70% of 92, well, that's already a multiple of 10, so I'm just going to leave it. But I'll probably make 92 a little easier to work with. Make it 90. 10% of 90 is how much? 9. But we need 70%, so times 7 is 63. 63. All right, one more. You can pause if you want. Try it on your own. 77% is closest to 80%. It's the closest multiple of 10. And let's get a nice pretty 12,000 here. 10% of 12,000. Still going to be a big number, but not difficult to figure out because we just moved the decimal left one time. Knock off that last number, and we get 1,200. Times 8, because we want 80%. 8 times 12 is 96, and we've got a couple of zeros there on our 1,200. So 77% of 11,994 is approximately 9,600. All right, so that is estimating fractions using 10%. Move the decimal in once and multiply that answer by however many times you need to to get what you're looking for. If you have questions, write them down, and we will see you soon.